Okay, who's gonna strike first? I'm guessing that was Sharp. And if Sharp struck first, he's probably gonna go to Stadium because Game of Watch will die off the top earlier. And yep. So, uh, Marshall, oh my god, good start from Sharp, to be honest. I expected Crouch Cancel to be more relevant, but Sharp has already got him out of CC range. Good lord. Uh, Marshall likes to use the CC down tilt at low percent, as, you know, Game of Watch should, and, uh, Bacon. Holy shit, Sharp. That looked really true. I wonder if Game Watch can up B out of <laughs> Meta Knight's up throw up B. Because if not, that's going to be a real solid kill option. Oh my god! He tech chased him into a re into a re grab, into a throw, into a nair, and then he still re grabbed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is, um. Oh my god. Sharp has barely been touched. He's still in CC range. And Marshall is down two stocks. Like. This is actually. I. I knew Sharp could do it, but I'll be honest, I didn't think it would be this emphatic if he did. I hope this carries through the whole set. Alright, Marshall closing up the percent lead. Reverse fair. <laughs> Game Watch is fair is actually, oh god, that was a solid read on the downbeat. Uh, Game Watch is fair is actually so, like, big because of the reverse hitbox that he can cover every option by tether characters uh, through the forced reel in by just doing fair from ledge. And if they go in, they get hit by fair to the other side of the stage, and if they try to fade out, they get hit by reverse fair all the way into the blast zone and die. Alright, solid edge guard. For Sharp to use every one of Meta Knight's B-moves. That's kind of how it works. Uh, Meta Knight's good recovery comes from the fact that he has multiple jumps and several solid mix-ups, but individually, they're not that busted. Like, Meta Knight's up B, neutral B, side B, and down B on their own are all just okay. You can pretty much react to them by uh, just doing an invincible aerial or whatever. Oh, almost. Okay, solid back air. Grab the ledge. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Meta Knight's back air, I knew it hit high, but it hits further into Meta Knight than I thought. Uh, this is so cool. <laughs> like, it was actually really nice to see a game of watching Meta Knight in this caliber play. I don't generally see this matchup. I'm sure it's played in other regions. They're probably like Pikmon Boring Man or something. Oh no, Sharp, what are you doing? Okay, yep. Up he had a shield into kill confirm because game and watch. Oh, he's trying to do the taunt cancel sound spam like L's. Yep, solid bacon pressure from underneath the platforms. Uh, game and watch is absolutely terrifying underneath you because of the bacon. A uh, very low lag, and he can get a couple of them out that have a solid hit stun, and then also be like up airing you or whatever from underneath. So Sharp is playing around ooh, Game & Watch aerials pretty well, where a lot of his aerials are like either decent range and disjoint, or multi-hits, or multiple landing hitboxes. Oh my god, Sharp. That looks so good! I'm honestly surprised Marshall hasn't started holding out more. I know that just gets you dimensional caped instead of upbeat, but like, Sharp killed him like three times with that out of an up throw. I think it might be worth DIing to get caped instead. Uh... So a lot of Game & Watch aerials are like decently disjointed or have multi-hits or landing hit boxes. So you can punish most of them with a shield grab, but it's frame tight and Game & Watch's jab is amazing. So instead you generally want to like just literally dash dance away and then dash dance back in and hit him. But you need to have a, a fast character and good reactions to do that. And Sharp has a mode. Alright, not looking like last game at all. Uh, Sharp is also going to have extreme difficulty doing up throw cape off the top. Green Hill ceiling is huge. I'm a big proponent of the fact that too many of our small stages uh, horizontally have huge ceilings vertically. I think we, uh, we need some new small stages with a small vertical ceiling. I appreciate the Metal Cavern edition, but I don't think it fixed that problem. Ooh. Okay, good trade.
Yep. The bacon approach is really hard to deal with. Down tilt is shield pressure. Yeah, so you can see Marshall doing a lot of back air in neutral because you can cross up with it. It's got a landing hitbox. It's got a multi-hit until it has the landing hitbox. Oh no, sharp. Damn it. Uh, and if they want to shield grab in the watch back air, they have to shield DI it. Which is actually impossible for some characters like DDD because the shield gets so small by the end of the multi-hit that shield DIing it in order to punish it with a shield grab also causes you to get shield poked because it makes you shield angle as well. That was alright. Yeah, up air. Oh, that could have been another up air. Oh my god, the bacon combos. He might be dead. All he needs is an edge guard, and he doesn't get it. That was a very conservative edge guard from Marshall. I honestly I expected him to go out at that point. But he doesn't need to. Game of Watch vertical combos with up B are so good. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to wall him out with the bacon. So while the bacon is really hard to deal with, Game of Watch only has two of them. Uh, they recharge fairly quickly, but if he exhausts both big bacons to come at you, any bacon he throws out after that point no longer has uh, hit stun. It's a much smaller bacon. Or at the least, it has very reduced hit stun, but I don't think it has any. So you can just go in with a move and hit it. Um, Game & Watch is also claim that you can deal with the bacon by clanking it and then also hitting the Game & Watch, but that's bullshit. You can do that once, and then if they expect it and like space for it, it won't work anymore. Solid bacon down tilt. I, uh... Alright, so Marshall will probably ban low ceiling stages, Royal Land Stadium, maybe? Uh... Alright, never mind. Metal Cavern Stadium. Or not? Okay, I have no idea what's happening. Oh, maybe he's trying to avoid Sharp up throwing onto a high platform in order to get the Cape Kill, and that's why he got rid of Battlefield. I don't understand the Metal Cavern ban. I think that's in his favor against Meta Knight. Like, what's Meta Knight gonna do? Platform camp him? Bacon destroys his shield from underneath. <laughs> what a trade. Sharp with uh, the percent lead. If it were me, I would have run away and ledge camped that 1% lead into uh, into Oblivion. Okay. Marshall is dacusing now. Oh, is he going to lose the stock for that? No, the platform's there. Okay. So Game & Watch's F-Tilt is uh, disjointed and decent range. <coughs> And its greatest we weakness is its greatest asset in that it's extremely active. So it's out for a long time and active the entire time. Uh, to the point where because of the interpolation of hitbox's effect, it's actually active for one more frame than it has end lag. Um, so Game & Watch can F-Tilt and then immediately be in the startup of another move as soon as its hitbox disappears. Um, but if he F-tilts, he's also locked in during the whole animation. So you can, like, come in above the F-tilt, above the chair, and, like, dare him or something. Oh, uh, back off, Sharp. Don't, don't engage. Never mind, Sharp. You're a genius. Oh, nope. I'm gonna guess he wanted that dare to Meteor. Or is it a spike? I don't even know. It's probably Meteor. It should be Meteor. Uh. It's running out of jumps. Okay, good reverse up B. Oh my god. Uh -huh. if, the, if that back air faced the right way, he could have reversed this whole stock. Or set the right way. Oh, up throw okay. Yep. He DI'd towards the blast zone that was closest. That was unfortunate, but if he hadn't, I'm pretty sure uh, Sharp could have just double jump up B and it killed him off the up throw anyway, so. Sharp playing very safe around the bacon until he gets tagged once. And now he's probably out of crouch cancel range. Yep. Ooh, that was really solid. Back air into down tilt. I don't think I've ever seen that. That was nice. Oh my god. The bacon actually saving him from a much worse situation. Uh, he's still dead though. Damn. Sharp had such a good start game one. I would have loved to see him uh, pull this one out, but it's not looking as likely now. 
Oh, this is not good. Gets tagged. Good ear dodge onto the platform. Uh, Marshall could be dead? Yep. Alright, sick. Still converted off that. What a down tilt. What a follow up. All right, let's go, Fizz. He won his set, which means Shrug has been defeated. Oh God. Yep. Oh. What an F smash. Ooh, that was a close set then. Yeah, it was actually really emphatically in Sharp's favor. Game one, it was like a three stock in his favor or some shit. Or no, you know.